Well, back in 1982, WBIR built a remote studio here at World's Fair Park. Yes, for six months, Bill Williams, Edie Ellis, Margie Eisen, and Bob Kessling brought the news, the weather, the sports every night from the fifth floor at the Tennessean Hotel. Earlier this week, Bill retraced his steps and actually found that studio location. All right. Of course, things have changed dramatically, but right here was a studio. This was it. That looked familiar? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It looked very familiar. You know, I, I would I would be here and and Kessling and uh, and Margie. We could, you know, look over and see see the fair side. Whew. Brings back from four, some 40-year-old memories. It was a great time. You know, it was quite a sight to be up here. That first day, 88,000 people. And you look out here and you see all these thousands of people. You see the president come in. Oh, man. Wow. I think that first day, the majority of that day, we were up here live. But this was full with uh, exhibits. What, what, there were, what, 20, 22 nations, I think, exhibiting, and they were lined up o over there. What's left today, the landmarks, we have the amphitheater, we have the sun sphere, the water feature, and the foundry. That's it. The energy express, was that it? Uh-huh, I think yeah. it was, energy express. Energy express with that wonderful little, little curtain <laughs> that you couldn't get out of your head. <laughs> Every evening at 5 o'clock. And then every night at 10. Every night at 10 for six months. A wonderful fireworks display. Every night. Every night. Every night. Bill's oldest son, Mark, even worked at the fair. He was a singing waiter. They had little shows they put on and everything. It was pretty cool. Okay. And uh, he'd get through about 10, 10 30, and he'd come over here and wait for me to get my news done, and then we'd go home together. I don't, to me, it, it's silly. It's just overwhelming seeing this view it again. Like it's just a lot of history right there. Uh -huh. well, 40 years of history. Williams directly on Saturday. He will join Jack Neely at the amphitheater to share more memories, and that's at 5 o'clock Saturday.